Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Tech Medic. Thank you for joining me tonight. And in tonight's video, we're going to talk about enchantments, charms, and infusions, and what they can do for you inside a battle. So we're going to go ahead and switch here to our gold pickaxe. This pickaxe is designed to have more magical damage. So we go ahead and go ahead and switch to Quake. And we are in a 160 hard astrolabe zone and you can see that this pickaxe is doing some moderate amount of damage especially when it comes to adding a choke point we can go ahead and set that up of course those guys are going to be annoying but this helps us out because we can go ahead and mow these guys down with that active we can go ahead and chop our way through a lot of these guys again Casting very quick by hitting R and then left click. The axe does do a moderate amount of damage, but if we want to do way more damage, we can switch over to the melee focus one. And that's going to give us a lot more damage to go ahead and get done. So, <clears throat> doing some comparisons here after we go ahead and kill this guy. Alright, now that he's dead, we can go ahead and explain some stuff. So, my HP is pretty low right now. Pretty much gonna go and um, create a bed. Because I thought this place was similar to a lot of the other areas that I've seen, but apparently it is not so. Yeah. Sticks. We need sticks. Five and. Six. So this is also a good thing, especially if you need somewhere to go ahead and rest up real quick, make sure you're inside of a building, grab a sleeping bag, toss it down, go ahead and create it, and then get yourself rested up. The reason why is because a lot of your um, casts require you to have stamina. So as we see there, that... It does some healing, but if we switch over to our gold, it did about 190 uh, points of healing, but this, we go ahead and hit our recovery on this one, which is the gold version, and this thing is going to heal for about 400 damage. And then again, we're at 190. Now we're back up to full. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about these things. So inside of here, your main source of damage is going to be coming out of your hat and your hand piece, as well as some charms that you're going to go ahead and utilize. So these two pieces are from the Calcularian set, and it's pretty much one of the first sets that you're going to get inside of the Forest um, Antiquarian Ascended Realm. And you can go ahead and craft these things and then of course if you have access to the excellent workbench you can go ahead and increase them even more but the infusions that i used on here are for range damage melee damage and extra health and that is because these two pieces focus primarily on delivering damage i could put more uh durability or something else like that but you know i chose the magic for this to increase it by you know, 15% range by 15%, of course, melee by 15%, which is going to give me a total of 41.4%. And it's going to give me 414 here as well. So that's going to be an extra 83% or so uh, melee and range damage, which is devastating to the enemy. Um, I really enjoy, you know, being able to go ahead and cast something that can keep them busy and then be able to recover. So let's go ahead and cast quick super simple to cast and it has a large area of effect which is going to go ahead and keep these guys and like i was showing you with the choke point over there it really does help out in order to employ it in a small space like that because they'll be fumbling all over and then of course my dude out here is chasing shit he shouldn't be chasing but he's pretty much geared out like i am he's got a rugged axe which does significantly more damage than this axe pick 
it's up to you. I utilize this because, you know, it saves me an inventory spot. But this one, again, is made out of Pelicidic, and it does 890. And, yeah, we're not fighting you, buddy. So, let's go talk about our, our charms that we have. We get up here, you should pretty much pass away. For charms, I've got Charm of the Leader. This is going to go ahead and have my assistant over there be able to do more damage as well as have more health. I have Charm of the Bounty on my hands because collecting Tier 4 and Tier 5 fibers is uh, few and far between, and you want to make sure you can get the most out of it, especially having a tool with you like the Rugged Sickle itself. The next one I have is Charm of the Terrifier. This is going to allow a chunk of HP to be regened as well as scare away any other um, enemies. And I also have Charm of the Spell Sword, which when you cast an enchantment, it's going to go ahead and give you more magical power. I have Charm of Steadiness. For every uh, range shot that you accomplish, you can go ahead and get an increment and it continues to stack until the buff goes away. I also have Charm of the Healer. This one is really good, but I'm not too familiar with what it does. So let's just check it out. Under Charms, Charm of the Healer, we can go to Notes, and you can always check this. Charm of the Healer causes the wearer's attacks to heal their allies. So like if I'm going through the Apex Dungeons and everyone's getting their butt kicked by the giant in the desert or you know the other two we can go ahead and make sure that when we land our hits we can go ahead and heal everyone else up but like i said i went ahead and i made two different uh types of weapons one being gold which increases my magic power by 189.7 this effectively you know allows my quake to hit for around 400 and crit up to 800 sometimes 900 and this one you know, you could cast this. You also have to keep in mind that when you cast Quake, and let's say you wanted to just, you know, sit around and heal when you do that, what it does is it automatically closes out the last one. So that means that I can't have an Arborist Shield going. Well, I've got a recovery going. It'll pretty much cancel it out. And if you noticed in the bottom left-hand corner there, these buffs are going away which is super disheartening and i hope that the developers change this effect because i would really like to have an arbor shield going uh with the level of magic that i have currently it's able to stay up for about a minute and a half which is very nice to have and then being able to cast a heal on myself as well would be very much you know encouraged to to go and do some of the extreme um versions of these areas because the more tiers you go up with extreme from hard the more uh, essences and the more rare materials and it just becomes a very much you know more difficult experience um, but yeah those are just my gripes about that about casting magic so those are the enchantments that you can go ahead and utilize on your weapons there's many more out there I do have some, I don't know why I look like that. Uh, oh, because I actually have <laughs> the Arborist uh, buff going on. But, I mean, that looks pretty cool. Like a wooden statue. All right. But you can go ahead and pretty much see. I haven't put anything on my head just yet. Um, I did have flanking there. Flanking is a really good one to go ahead and utilize because flanking will actually allow you to do extra damage from the back uh, when an enemy's fumbling around with Quake. But uh, for now, that's been my tips on weapons and uh, enchantments, infusions, and charms that you guys can go ahead and uh, utilize for yourself. I hope this video helped you out. And if it, you're this far in the video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and we'll see you all in the next one. Have a nice night.